Hey folks, thanks for checking out SERP Sonar. This is a free Chrome extension that is packed with all sorts of tools to help improve your keyword analysis and competitive analysis. Once you install the extension, make sure you come over here to the extension dropdown and pin the SERP Sonar icon. That'll put the icon up here in the toolbar. And I also like to drag it over here to the far left side because you're going to be clicking on this icon when you want to run a scan on a keyword. Now we already ran a scan here and I want to make this a super quick video. So uh, you will see the scan process and a whole lot of other detail in other videos. But for this one, we're going to keep it short and sweet. So. Once you Google a keyword, you click on the icon to kick off the scan. It takes about 15 to 20 seconds, and the plugin will pull back up to 100 results for the keyword. One of the features up here in the app bar, which is one of the three areas of functionality that the plugin offers. Up in this app bar, one of the features is the sonar depth setting. So by default, it'll show you uh, the data and uh, it will generate reports on all results up to 100. Usually Google doesn't give us 100, but we often get close. In this case, it was a total of 96. Three of them were errors. But if you want to just look at the top 10 and you want to run reports on the top 10 results only, these are the top 10 ranking pages. So if you want to get stats and details and whatnot for just the top 10 or just the top 20, you can change it up here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other settings here. These are what uh, we call the keyword detector settings. Uh, and that we go into a lot more detail in a separate video. There's some basic data over here as well, uh, average word count. Also, we calculate the KGR if you have keywords everywhere. So if you have the keywords everywhere plugin and you've got credits, then you are able to get the search volume over here. If you've got that turned on, Serpsona will take the search volume and it will use the page titles, all words in title. This count is an accurate all in title uh, count. By taking this number and taking this number uh, from the Keywords Everywhere data, we're able to calculate the KGR for you. Uh, the other settings over here on the app bar are an export button, which lets you export all of this data for this almost 100 results. And there's also some API, uh, some AI uh, functionality here as well. Uh, so you can simply uh, add your open AI API key here, and there's an AI uh, content report that we'll see in a moment. The second area of functionality for the plugin is what we call SERP overlay. And so there's a whole bunch of data that's presented here directly in the SERP. And again, this is we go into great detail on this in a separate video. But what you can see are things like title changes or meta description changes. So MD change here means that Google rewrote this meta description versus the original. PAT means that this original page title is an all in title match. So up here, all words in title, there's six pages that are all in title matches. This is one of them, and we know it because this is PAT stands for page all in title. Some of the other things that we highlight in the SERP are, are the ad networks that are being used by the page, the affiliate networks being used by the page. So without even going over here, we know that, well, here it is, this is the Spruce and we know that they use Amazon Associates. So there's a whole bu a bunch of other data and information that surfaced using the SERP overlay feature. The last area of functionality that comes with the plugin, and all of this is free, it's all part of the free SERP Sonar offering, is uh, these detailed reports. So there's five in total. So the default report that pops up is the summary report, a bunch of data here rolled up in summary. Some of it is data that you already saw over in the other in the SERP and in the in the app bar. Uh, some of it is unique to the report itself. And then uh, when you come down here at the bottom, you will also see uh, the other reports. So this is sort of a navigation section down here. 
There's a keyword detail report. And so there's a whole bunch of additional data in here, including some proprietary data. There's in-depth detailed information about whether the keyword is showing up in H1s, H2s, H3s, and whether it's an exact or an all in title match. There's also a bunch of data related to SERP features. And a lot of this stuff is still work in progress. So uh, some of these proprietary stats up here, we're doing testing and experiments on. So we're showing the numbers here. Uh, but we're not quite ready to discuss exactly how to use those numbers. We jump over to the SERP title delta report. This is a, a, a detailed report on which titles changed and how they changed. If you've paid any attention to how Google changes titles and meta descriptions, one of the things you might know is that they will often take the H1 and use that instead of the original publisher's title. And so you can see that here's a, here's a change where they picked up the H1. This is the original page title, but they use the H1. Google used the H1 over here. This first one was in position seven. Google rewrote this title. It's not the same as the original page title or the H1. So in this case, they took out the, the number five, which is kind of interesting. They chose to leave in uh, the year and they also appended with the brand. So there's sometimes interesting insights that can be gleaned from looking at the SERP title delta report. The next report we've got here is the SERP word prevalence report. There's a couple of interesting things that happen here. I think one of my favorites though is that uh, we pull all the bold words out of the meta descriptions and these are words that Google themselves decided to bold and we sort them by prevalence and so the words that are most commonly put here or the phrases that are commonly put here can be used as sort of additive content for your optimization work. So this doesn't replace an NLP or an entity lookup, but seeing what Google highlights in the bold words is helpful. And there are some other very interesting uh, correlations that we've seen. So we're going we're to be releasing some research that gives a uh, better understanding of when they bold words and, and why they may or may not bold words. And so there's some other sections in this report, but I'll leave that to you to check out. And then the last report here is the AI output report. And so uh, the three features of the AI output report currently are in reverse order. A meta description ideas, lots of people leave their meta descriptions blank. They say, oh, Google's going to write them the way it wants to write them anyway. I think that's crazy. I think you should always include meta descriptions. If you don't want to think of them, ask the AI. We've got a nice prompt uh, built into the back end here. We're getting nice suggestions back from the AI. The AI title tag, uh, optimization ideas. If you are scanning this keyword for the first time yourself, you're not yet competing for it, but you've decided that you want to build a page for it. This report will help you come up with an idea for your titles. And then finally, I think the real strong feature in the AI content report here is the search intent determination. This is a, a search term that many folks at a glance, it's, it's got the word best in it. So you may automatically decide that, oh, this must be commercial investigatory. And in fact, the AI agrees that's probably the right determination. But many keywords have hybrid intent. And so what we do is we always ask for two determinations. And so a lot of times you get better color from actually looking at sort of a, a strongest and second strongest opinion from the AI. And so these are the three main sections of functionality in the SERP Sonar plugin. Uh, you've got this sort of app bar, you've got the SERP overlay, and you've got all that, these reports. And uh, there's a lot more to come. So a lot of these features are still in development and still being enhanced. If you've got any feedback or suggestions, please come over to serpsonar.com and drop a note or just to leave a comment on this video. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video.